What are some commercial kitchen alternatives? Well, I'm actually going to give you a list of 10 different places that you can actually use. In some cases, some of these are free. And of course, you have to double check with them in your city or county. But many of these are commercial kitchen alternatives. These are going to be kitchens that you can actually use to get the job done. But they are not necessarily related to renting a commercial kitchen, which in some cases can be quite expensive. So we're going to go from Number 10 down to number one. Follow us all the way through to the end of this video and definitely find out what's number one. Now, of course, this is Food Truck Freak. So this is a food truck entrepreneur channel. We are brand new. Welcome to my channel. You definitely want to hit the subscribe button if you are a food truck entrepreneur. If you've already launched a food truck and you're looking for some extra tips and pointers, this is definitely the channel for you. If you are brand new to food truck industry, this may be a great resource for you to check out all kinds of wonderful information. Now, all right, let's get started. Now, always, of course, ensure that you comply with your local health and safety regulations in the city or county that you're working in, of course, when using these commercial kitchen alternatives. And of course, consider factors like availability, pricing, and equipment that is available before making your decision, of course. Number 10, home kitchen rental platforms. Now, how to use how do you use these? Now, some online platforms connect individuals with fully licensed and equipped home kitchens that are available for rent. Yes, believe it or not, some people actually have separate kitchens on their property or even in their home that are licensed, inspected by the USDA and are available for use. Uh, there's actually some people who operate catering businesses from home. So they do have a separate kitchen. And those places might actually be available for you to rent when they're not using them for their um, uh, catering. So where you can find them. So look for services like Kitchen Surfing. Actually, that's a pretty cool website, kitchensurfing.com. They've got listings and such for these types of home-based commercial kitchens, uh, which facilitate home kitchen rentals, and they'll ensure regulating compliance as well. Number nine, restaurant kitchen rentals. Now, you might be thinking, restaurant, yeah, Damien. Nope, hear me out. So how to use these? Now, some restaurants offer their kitchen space during off hours for culinary experiments, pop-up dinners, or even special events, or even food trucks. So you want to check with some local kitchens and, hey, you know what? When your guys are closed, when you're not working in your kitchen, do you offer them available for rent? Where to find them? You can actually reach out to local restaurants to inquire about kitchen rental opportunities. You can also check platforms like uh, Peer Space, I believe it is, that actually has a handful of restaurants that offer their kitchen. All right, next up, number eight. Commercial commissary kitchens. Now, of course, as we discussed before, how to use. So commercial commissary kitchens are often used by food truck operators and catering businesses for food storage and prep. But sometimes you can actually get them at a discount. And in some cases, even if you work with another vendor, you can swap or exchange or minimize the amount of money you have to put into that one. So that was a little unique, but it is a commercial kitchen, commissary kitchen. Where to find it? You can actually search online for commercial commissary kitchens in your area. Websites like foodcorridor.com. They actually have some listings on there for different types of food kitchen corridors that you can rent. So definitely take a look at that one. Number seven, believe it or not, church or community center kitchens. Yes, in your area, in your city or county, there's obviously churches and different types of community centers. Well, they all mostly most of the time, actually have kitchens. And believe it or not, when they're not using them, they sometimes rent them out. And of course, they're licensed, inspected, and all of that good stuff because they have to be in order for them to serve food um, within that facility. So church and community center kitchens are really interesting. So some churches and community centers allow their kitchens to be rented for events or even food preparation. Uh, where are you to find them? Okay, so you can actually contact local churches or synagogues or community centers in your area to inquire about kitchen rental options that are available. Uh, that's pretty simple. You can go around the area in which you live in your city or county and look for them or even just Google them. Number six, kitchen incubator programs or kitchen accelerators, they're called. Now, how to use? Okay, well, some food business incubators and accelerators provide access to commercial kitchens along with a mentorship or even support to help launch your food business or even your food truck. So yes, believe it or not, these are other places that are different from commercial kitchens. And a lot of times, um, if you're renting them just as needed, they're much cheaper. So where to find them? Well, you can actually search for food business incubators or accelerators in your region by simply Googling them or organizations like foodx.com. I heard actually has a really cool program on that website that has a lot of great uh, resources for kitchen incubators. <clears throat> Number five, of course, food trucks and mobile kitchens. Believe it or not, sometimes you don't even need a commissary kitchen. You can do the prep work on your food truck. Check specifically with your city or county. A lot of states actually allow this. Some do not, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, but mobile kitchens as well. Sometimes there's food trailers that are actually insured and inspected. And if people are not using them on their off time, you can check into looking and renting those out as well. Those are like food trailers. So the ones that get hitched on the back of a truck that have a trailer and they, they're pulled to different events. Those are fully loaded kitchens. And believe it or not, in some cases, if someone's not using them for a weekend or maybe a couple of weeks, you can go in there and rent one. 
Now, how to use? Well, food truck operators can actually rent or even share their mobile kitchen space during off hours to other chefs or food entrepreneurs. So where to find one, Damien? How do I do that? Well, connect with food truck owners directly through local food truck associations. Every state actually has a food truck association or a platform like uh, Roaming Hunger. I've seen that website. That's actually a great resource as well. Roaming Hunger is really great. You can check out that website as well. Now, number four. Now we're getting down to the last four, which are becoming very interesting. You may have never thought of these. But culinary schools and cooking class facilities, believe it or not. So how to use these, Damien? Well, culinary schools often have professional-grade kitchens that can be rented for private events or even cooking classes. Where to find them? Well, contact culinary schools in your area or even explore areas like, uh, I believe it's called surlatable.com. They actually offer cooking classes and kitchen access. So there's a lot of kitchens that are registered with that website. You might want to check that out as well. Number three, rental community kitchens. Now, how to use. Now, some residential communities offer rental kitchens for residents' use. Now, believe it or not, this is true, actually. There's a lot of, of neighborhoods nowadays, actually, that have like a either a clubhouse or they have some type of event uh, facility, a building. They actually have kitchens in there, and many of them can be rented. If you ch- touch base with the HOA, reach out to them and call them and ask them, hey, can I rent that space? Is it available for my food truck or is it available for mobile kitchens? then you can prepare food there, potentially even just use that for your commercial kitchen. Now, these can be a convenient for individuals or even families limited to kitchen access. Where to find one? Well, you can inquire with local apartment complexes, community centers, or housing associations within the city or county that you're in. Number two is co-working spaces with kitchen facilities. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. This one and the last one. Now, how to use. So many co-working spaces now actually include communal kitchens. Freelancers or remote workers or small business owners can utilize these spaces and prepare meals and snacks. So where to find one, Damien? Well, search for co-working spaces in your city. You can actually use uh, platforms like WeWork, believe it or not, or Regus, as it's called. Um, Those are different websites that offer information about these types of co-working spaces. Number one, of course, the shared commercial kitchen. Now, how to use. Now, this is a shared commercial kitchen that are fully equipped spaces that multiple food entrepreneurs can rent or use hourly or monthly. Now, kind of sort of similar to a commercial kitchen, but the way these work is that they are ideal for food startups and small scale producers, similar to like food truck entrepreneurs, because you're actually sharing the space and the cost with other food entrepreneurs. So it's a slightly different setup than a commercial kitchen. The traditional commercial kitchen, of course, as you know, you go in, you rent it for a designated amount of space and time. And you pay for it and you pretty much get it to yourself. And it's very expensive though. But if you're sharing it, a lot of times uh, there's actually places like, I believe the website's called kitchendoor.com. It's actually pretty cool. You should check those uh, websites out too, those resources. Um, But you can actually get a space with someone else and split the cost. So that's a much cheaper way. So here are 10 different alternatives to renting a commercial kitchen for your food truck. If you have questions about this, let us know down below and I'll see you on our next video.